Today we're going to do our post-thaw assessments of our, our stallions that we've collected from this morning. We do it in two stages. Today we just look at the motility, the progressive motility, uh, the viability, and also we do a swab of the, of the uh, semen as well to see if we have any bacterial growth on it. And then at the weekend we actually look at the morphology as well with a fluorescent microscope. So we always take two straws from every ejaculate so we can hopefully get a good portion of the semen and so we know what it's like. So we've got the semen here in the liquid nitrogen and all we're going to do is take the straws out, we take them out, we have a water bath here set at 37 degrees. Uh, we make sure we've got the right stallion, we pop it in the water bath and then we wait 30 seconds for it to thaw out. So it's had its 30 seconds in here so we take these out and the importance with frozen sea once you thaw it out is to make sure they're dried off really, really well. Any water contamination is going to have a detriment effect straight away to the semen. So we dry the straws off uh, to make, get rid of the water. And, and the straws are sealed at one end with a cotton bung, as you can see here. And we have another end where they're actually sealed where they're crimped. And this is the end that we've got to cut off initially. So we will literally get a pair of scissors and cut this end off. Um, and then we make sure uh, we want to put it into a sterile test tube because obviously we're taking a swab off this. Uh, we want to make sure, so we have a sterile test tube here and we push the semen in, expel it into the test tube. We don't leave the straws in there, we put them behind because again, they've been in the water bath and could be open to certain bacteria. So the first things we've got to do is take a, do a swab of the semen, so we take a 10 microliter drop on here and we just put on a culture plate and then we incubate that for 24-48 hours and see if we have any bacterial growth. So the next part of the stage we've got to look at the motility and what we do is we get again a 10 microliter pipetta and with this we put actually three drops on the slide because we reckon you get a much more accurate assessment when we look at three individual drops rather than just one drop because it can vary from drop to drop and this way so we put a cover slide on top of these three droplets it's important to make sure that sea was properly warmed up and keeping it on the warm stage and then we do an analysis on the screen, be about 37% on the first slide. It's about 30%, 35% on the second slide. And on the third slide, yeah, it's 37 again. So this has given us an average of 36% progressively motile sperm. The other thing we've got to look at is looking at the viability. And also we want to make sure the concentration, double check it. So we have to get a 50 microliter pipetta for this. We mix, we've got to take a sample of semen in there, put it into our tubes. We take it, and what we do is we have to look at the total amount of semen that's in this. We add a solution to it and this breaks down the cell so it just exposes the nucleus. We put it in a cuvette where there's a stain in there and this will tell us exactly how many millions of sperm there are per mil. We do another stain for this one and this just permeates the cells that where the membrane is, is ruptured and, and broken and so this will tell us how many non-viable sperm there are. And when we cross-reference the two, that tells us what the viability is. Uh, we want it really about 300 and above, and as you can see here, 330 million sperm per mil that are in that, uh, in, that, in that straw, or in those straws. So we take this one out, we replace it again with the non-viable, and we press run and two. Now this just calculates all the ones that are non-viable, and obviously if we've got the total amount of the non-viable, then it can work out actually what's viable in there. Viability of the semen is a really important part and I think it's as important 
as if not even more important than actually motility because if the seam is not very viable but it's still moving very well the conception rates aren't going to be very good but if it's still moving well and you've got good viability you should get really good pregnancy results with that so the beauty about this is not a subjectivity test whereas when we're looking at motility it is whereas this is actually giving us a very accurate field 138 million sperm per mil that are non-viable so we click on the calculate the viability so this has come back this particular standard with 58 percent viable which is a really good viability so the standard should uh, produce uh, should have good pregnancy results with that the 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 uh, criteria is we like everything above 35 percent progressively motile with above 45% um, viability. That's our sort of criteria for whether it passes or fail. Also, it's got to pass all the morphology tests as well as along the stat, which we did to do at the weekend.